attendance was 7,816. The gate was $735,000. The uh, four people were transported to the hospital tonight, Herman, Riley, Danzig, and Andrade. They're all on their way back, and they're all fine. Fight of the night, Herman and Smith. Knockout of the night, Melvin Gillard. And submission of the night, Johnson. They all won $50,000, so congratulations. And yes, we had a huge debate uh, over who won knockout of the night. Was it Lawler or Gillard? You went out there and put on probably your most exciting fight to date. So, you know, was there any, you know, did it maybe in the back of your mind factor in that you wanted to go on and put on something a little special tonight? Um, no, not at all, man. Um, like I said, it didn't bother me at all. My job in the gym is to train and train to finish. And you know what? The finishes kept coming and rising. I was trying to finish in the first round of the guillotine. And then I had opportunities for the Kimura. And then in the fifth round, you know, even though I was ahead on the scorecards, you know, I'm never just relaxing and just trying to coast by. My job's in there to finish and to push the pace. And it, so it, it, it rise. And then I just took it. And so happened it happened. I was going to say in twice, you know, round three, and then, of course, the finish in round five, you gave up position to go for a submission and, and, and kind of risk putting yourself in a bad spot. So is that something you're conscientiously working on, like trying to make that change to not be conservative, or do you feel like it, you just haven't been able to get the finishes up to this point? I just think, you know, in a gym where I'm trying to focus more and always evolve on my game where I'm using my wrestling to, you know, I'm a white belt in jiu-jitsu, so I'm just using my wrestling to get to the position to – do the submission. So like I said tonight, it just so happened that, you know, the opportunity was there and I just capitalized on it. Usually when I fight guys, it's not there. They usually shell up and John Rogers doing a good job. You know, out of all the people I fought, he's the one guy who showed up in shape and never gassed out. He was always there every single every single round. So credit to him. He's a tough guy. If you could kind of break down uh, how you felt about your performance tonight. I think I did exactly uh, what I was supposed to do. I kept up my end. Uh, and he's a he's a counter puncher and a very powerful puncher. I, I was waiting for my opportunities, and he wasn't coming in at, at the right times. And he was he was staying back. He wasn't engaging. Uh, I was playing my angles and waiting for my opportunities like I always do. And he's a smart fighter. I got to hand it to him. But uh, no, I, I felt I did the right thing. It's just uh, I, I think I might needed a few more minutes, and I think I would have had a a good chance to finish the fight when I had his back. How much trouble were you in there at the end of the end of the first round? Uh, I honestly, I felt safe. Um, it wasn't deep, but she was over my chin. It was just a matter of I couldn't get my head loose. And as tiny as she was, trying to get her hands free was just really difficult. But I felt safe, and I, and I knew I had it in the end. And uh, what's next for you? Do you think you know? What do you? Is there anybody out there you you want to face? And I'm, just, I'm sure I'm sure Rousey's one of them. But any, any <laughs> anybody else out there that really intrigues you? Oh, really, anybody they put in front of me. I'm just glad to be here and glad to keep fighting for them. Whatever they want to give me, I'll face any opponent. Telling us the other day on Thursday that you'd expect to meet Chase, Chase uh, Johnson around, the, the, around there a little bit, and it did, but that wasn't the case. What, did you expect him to be that aggressive, especially that early, and going for, going for the takedowns? Um, you know, I, I don't remember exactly how aggressive he was. I, I remember I, I was feeling that the first round, I was feeling like uh, I had things going my way until he, he got his takedown. And uh, I, don't, I don't really remember him feeling that he was aggressive. So I don't know. He did a good job of uh, controlling me, though.